Welcome back to Info Squad. From powerful lasers to electromagnetic railguns, what are the newest weapons in use on the battlefield? The KA 52 attack helicopter will join the Russian Navy as a part of a modernization program that will run through 2025. The KA 52K made its first flight in 2015 and has since become a staple of the Russian Navy. The Chinese J-20 is a fourth generation stealth fighter that has entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The Chinese consider the J-20 a masterpiece Information was leaked in 2015 that connected China to stolen materials from the Pentagon containing several terabytes, including plans for the F-35 stealth jet fighter. Multiple countries have developed active denial systems that use non-lethal microwaves to heat the surface of the skin of their targets. These microwaves penetrate the skin about 1 64th of an inch and then heat up the skin to around 130 degrees. This forces the target to have reflexes and they then leave the area. You can use it in a crowd to move a crowd from one area to the other. That's the beauty of the system. You can actually sweep from left to right start on one end and you can get them in the direction that you want to go. So it's very useful to the commander moving people in a specific direction. The XM-25 Punisher is part of a revolutionary weapon system that the United States Army has not quite figured out what to do with. This weapon was designed to solve an age-old problem of how to kill an enemy that is taking cover. This weapon can calculate the distance behind cover that an enemy has taken. It then fires a grenade round that explodes in the calculated location. The United States military believes that electromagnetic weapons have the potential to replace conventional projectile weapons. Railgun technology uses high velocities and electricity rather than explosives to destroy a target. This system requires massive amounts of energy to launch projectiles at mock speeds. Railgun development is currently making incredible progress in the technology that powers these weapons. The advancement in these power supplies have made it more practical to deploy these weapons. Laser weapons are still in development, but the power of these lasers continues to increase each year. We know the new Lockheed Martin systems are combining multiple low-powered fiber optic lasers to produce a single high-powered beam, creating even more powerful laser weapons. Research into lasers is part of a field known as Directed Energy Technology. These weapons have a high attraction for governments due to their nearly limitless ammo supply as long as there is a good source of electricity. All branches of the military project the use of laser weapons in their near future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below, and if you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next video.